Hyun Bin born as Kim Tae Pyung on September 25, 1982 is a South Korean actor. Hyun Bin first gained wide recognition for his role in the 2005 romantic comedy television drama My Name is Kim Sam Soon. Since then, he has appeared in leading roles in other successful television shows including, the romantic fantasy drama Secret Garden in 2010-201 fantasy drama Memories of the Alhambra in 2018-2019, and romantic drama Crash Landing on You in 2019-2020. Hyun Bin popularity was further widened by starring in a series of box office hits, the action thriller Confidential Assignment in 2017, the crime thrillers The Swindlers in 2017 and The Negotiation in 2018 as well as The Zombie Horror Rampant in 2018. Hyun was Gallup Korea's Television Actor of the Year in 2011. The success of Hyun Bin works internationally established him as a top Hallyu star. He is one of the highest paid and most influential actors in South Korea. Hyun Ben drew praise from critics for his performance in melodrama film Late Autumn, which was screened at the 61st Berlin International Film Festival. Throughout his career, he has been nominated for many awards, including five at the Beck Sang Arts Awards, and won various acting recognition, including the Grand Prize, Day Sang, for TV at the 47th Beck Sang Arts Awards. Birth Name, Kim Tae Pyung birthplace Seoul South Korea birth date September 25 1982 birth sign Libra nationality South Korean blood type type B height 184 centimeters weight 74 kilograms personal life Hyun was born and raised in Seoul and has one older brother. He graduated from Yongdong High School and then studied at Chungang University, where, in 2004, he majored in theater studies. In 2009, he enrolled at the same university to obtain a master's degree. On January 1, 2021, Hyun Agency confirmed that he is in a relationship with actress Sun Yejin his co-star in the negotiation in 2018 and crash landing on you in 2020. Career 2003 to 2007, career beginnings and stardom. Hyun Ben first film was Shower in 2002. However, it was not released due to lack of funding. Hyun eventually made his debut as an actor in the 2003 television series Bodyguard. He then starred in the sitcom Nonstop Four and quirky romance drama Ireland, and made his film debut the same year in the youth sports movie Spin Kick. He was shot to stardom with the 2005 romantic comedy series My Lovely Sam Soon with Kim Sun A, for which he won the Top Excellence Award at the MBC Drama Awards. My Lovely Sam Soon was a massive hit with average ratings of over 37% and recorded 50.5% for the finale, making it one of the highest rated Korean drama of all time. The explosive popularity of the drama and his portrayal as Sam Sik established Hyun Bin as a top star in South Korea and a Hallyu star as his popularity expanded beyond South Korea to Japan and other countries in Asia. Following the success of My Lovely Sam Soon, Hyun starred in his first film as a lead actor in A Millionaire's First Love, written by internet novelist Kui Yoni. The movie was a hit with the young audience. Hyun's next television project, The Snow Queen, although underperformed, earned him his first Best Actor nomination at Beck Sang Arts Awards. 2008-2011 new challenges and secret garden. To expand his acting profile, Hyun started to choose more eclectic projects. In 2008, he acted in director Yoon Jong Chan's film I Am Happy, playing Man Su, a man who suffers from mental illnesses. 
The movie was selected to screen at the 13th Busan International Film Festival in 2008, but it was not released in theaters until late 2009. After the Snow Queen, Eun returned to television with Worlds Within, which was well received for No Hee Kyung's writing. He was praised for his nuanced acting in the drama series. In 2009, Eun drew critical acclaim with his portrayal as a sociopath in the gangster saga friend, Our Legend. To prepare for his role, he reportedly watched Kwok Kyung Taik's original film 20 to 30 times. In 2010, Eun starred in Secret Garden, a romantic fantasy drama written by Kim Yoon Soo. The drama recorded its highest viewership ratings of 35%, and gained enormous popularity both domestically and internationally for its fashion, catchphrases, and music. His portrayal as Kim Ju Won created a Hyun Bin syndrome as his name and face were plastered everywhere, from newspapers to television and the internet. Hyun was recognized at the 2010 SBS Drama Awards and the 47th Beck Sang Arts Awards for his stellar performance. He also contributed to the soundtrack of the drama with That Man, which peaked at number one in eight Korean music portals. In 2011, Hyun appeared in two films that were released back to back, Come Rain, Come Shine, a minimalist breakup indie directed by Lee Yoon Ki, and Late Autumn directed by Kim tae Young. Shot in Seattle, Late Autumn is an English-language remake of the 1966 Lee Man-hee classic, in which Hyun played a man on the run who falls in love with a woman who is on special leave from prison, Chinese actress Tang Wei. It became the highest-grossing Korean film released in China to date, taking in more than 9.5 million US dollar over two weeks, which was unprecedented for a melodrama. He received a good review from The Hollywood Reporter which stated, It is Hyun who impresses more for not underplaying the dandy, narcissistic side of his personality. Hyun walked the red carpet at the 61st Berlin International Film Festival, where the two films were both selected to be screened. He described the honor as his happiest achievement. 2011-2012 military enlistment and discharge. On March 7, 2011, Hyun began his 21-month mandatory military service as a soldier in the Marine Corps. He volunteered to serve in the Marine Corps, said to be the toughest branch of the Korean military, as he had a good impression of the Marines. Competition rate to enter the Marines at that time was high at 4,1 with Hyun placing in the top 5% of applicants. Hyun applied to be a combat soldier. The decision to join the Marines while at the peak of his career generated much interest in Korea and overseas. Seven broadcasting companies, including Japan's NHK, requested access to the training camp. Hyun was named a top marksman during training, one of 16 out of about 720 rookie Marines. Hyun hit the target 19 times out of 20 in day shooting training, and all of his 10 shots hit the target during night training. To qualify as a top marksman, rookies must hit the target more than 18 times out of 20 in day training and 9 out of 10 at night. The Corps originally planned to put Hyun on public relations duty, however due to public criticism and Hyun reported desire to serve on the front line, Hyun was assigned on active duty to Bangunyong Island, close to the northern limit line and Yeon Pihong, site of a November 2010 artillery engagement between the North and South Korean forces. After joining the Marines and completing six months into his service, Hyun participated in the Seoul Reclamation Anniversary Marine Marathon competition. He ran a 6.25 km long course with 400 exemplary senior marines. This event was held in remembrance of the historically significant event when the marines won back the capital Seoul that had been taken during the 6.25 Korean War. He was discharged on December 6, 2012, and was awarded the Secretary of Defense Award and the Marine Corps Commandant Commendation for being an exemplary soldier. 
After the merger of their former agency AM Entertainment with SM Entertainment, Hyun Reps announced in November 2012 that the actor and Shin Mina had decided to go independent and set up their own management agency O and Entertainment. 2013 to 2016, comeback. Hyun spent most of 2013 shooting commercials as an in-demand product endorser and holding fan meetings all over Asia. For his acting comeback after military service, Hyun chose The Fatal Encounter, his first ever period film, in which he played the leading role of King Jeong Jo who faced fierce party strife and assassination attempts during his reign. It was released in April 2014 and drew more than 3 million admissions. However, Hyun was criticized for his flat tonation and lack of emotions in the film, which received mostly negative reviews. In 2015, Hyun made a comeback in the Korean drama scene after four years with romantic comedy series Hyde, Jekyll, Me. In the drama inspired by the literary character, he plays a man with split personality disorder whose two personas both fall for the same woman. In January 2016, Hyun set up his own agency, Vast Entertainment, which became a wholly owned subsidiary of KKOM three years later. 2017, Present, Career Resurgence Hyun returned to silver screen with the action thriller film titled Confidential Assignment in 2017, where he plays the role of a North Korean detective that is secretly sent to South Korea to apprehend a crime ring that is made up of North Korean traitors. The film was a success, and Hyun received positive reviews for his action scenes and comedic performance. He then starred in crime action film The Swindlers, along with Yu Jite, about a prosecutor who plans to catch a con man who has swindled a large sum of money. The Swindlers was another box office hit for Hyun. In 2018, Hyun starred in crime thriller The Negotiation, playing a villain role for the first time, alongside Sun Yejin, and zombie blockbuster Rampant, which was co-produced by Vast Entertainment. The same year, he returned to the small screen with fantasy suspense drama Memories of the Alhambra alongside Park Shin Hye. The series is one of highest rated Korean drama in cable television history, and Hyun was praised for his seemingly indifferent but humorous depiction of his character. In 2019, Hyun reunited with The Negotiation co-star Sun Yejin in the hit romance drama Crash Landing on You as a North Korean Army captain. The drama was a huge success and is the third highest rated Korean drama in cable television history, and Hyun was praised for his versatile range of emotions and acting skills. For his portrayal as Captain Ri Jong Hyuk as a North Korean elite army officer, Hyun won grand prize at Apen Star Awards. In 2020, Hyun is set to star as a NIS agent in the thriller film The Point Man, directed by Yim Soon Rae. Film music video appearances discography from 2002 to 2018. Television series television show Korea Power Celebrity from 2003 to 2021. Awards and nominations from 2004 to 2020.